So now I have added a third, another element to this, that being being the ghost powers, if you're familiar with Danny Phantom. Again, this is just to add meat to the story. And with good reason at this point. Back when I, when I, when I originally did this back in high school, I didn't have the ghost powers. I just, had, I just had the spider powers. I figured that was enough. And the lightsaber. So, this, this, this whole, the whole, if you've seen the movie, the whole part where Captain Picard is on the surface, that part wasn't in my original draft. I added the ghost powers so I could add, so I could add that to this and make the story longer. So, for those of you who are familiar with the movie, after the, after the, the Star Drive section explodes and the Sasta section crash lands on Viridian 3, that's where my original draft ended, and I picked it up again after, after at the very end when Captain Picard is it returned is returned to the saucer section, and they start doing doing the little cleanup. That's where that's where the story would pick up again, complete, completely getting rid of everything that happens on the surface of Viridian Three. So I added the ghost powers so I can add that entire that entire part of the story. So, with that being said. Let's continue. When we rematerialized in the Klingon transporter room, the Dura sisters were waiting for us. When they saw me, they wanted to know what I was doing here. I looked at them and said, they just got two for the price of one. They just said, okay, the took our comm badges and beamed us to the surface. The first thing I noticed when we, re when we again rematerialized was that it was really bright. I hoped that it would stay that way. I looked around for a moment, then I heard a voice say, Welcome, gentlemen. I turned around, and there was Soren, looking down at us, smiling. He said that we must think he was quite the madman. I said the thought had crossed my mind. I know why you're here. You're here to stop me from my perfect plan. Well, good luck. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm rather busy. When that Soren turned to walk away, Captain Carr was not, happy, was not happy. He called out to Soren and started towards him. My spider sense went off. I called out to the captain and told him to wait. But it was too late. He, he ran right into a force field. Then he fell backwards. I ran to him and made sure he was alright. Soren looked at us and said, said, Do be careful, please. That's a 50 gigawatt force field. I would not want to see you get hurt. Then he walked off again. Then Captain Card looked at me, and I said, I know, sir, you're wondering about my other powers. He said he was. I said, well, it was an accident. You see, my parents were a little fascinated with ghosts. The captain was a little confused. Ghosts? Yes, sir. They created a portal that would allegedly take them to a different realm that the ghosts, li that the ghosts lived in. When they plugged it in, it did not work, so they took a break. I decided to look inside. I put the black suit on that you saw in the Enterprise and went inside. My hand grazed the button and the portal activated. And that's how I got my powers. I can go, I can fly through walls, disappear, uh, turn invisible, and other things. Captain Card was still looking at me and I said, Sir, this is the first time in 20 years I have used those powers. Captain Picard said that he, that it was all right, but he does have a question. I said yes. Do you have to yell "Go and Ghost" for you to change? I laughed at that and said, "No, sir. That would be a little weird. I just think it and it happens." He said, "Oh, okay. Let's let's go get so 